up everyone, it's the Arch Pandit. Welcome back to the Dowel of 2118 Mod Pack. How y'all been diddling? I hope everybody's doing well. I... A few jobs to do today, so let's get on with the first job, which is... Immersive Engineering. Now... Um, one thing I have done before I start is made a load more of these because I want get those five get that and upgrade to the bigger one, to the Herculean. So instead of holding 1 million RF, it'll hold 8. Make sure you are connected. We have no input of energy. Uh, because the munch dues have broken. In fact, everything's broken. Um, yeah, creates a little broken. Yeah, creates very broken at the minute. Come on, make it to the uh... Let's get a bit of help. There we go. Yeah, it creates very broken at the minute. It is doing this weird bug where The animation gets stuck, but that still runs around and does its thing. So let's get some help. should help it along a bit. So I'm guessing now if I go to here, yep, we are severely lacking on aura. Right. May have to get rid of these for a bit. And do that that I mentioned, which is um, pump mana to here rather than to there. So that is another stream job, I think. Uh, for now, let's get some more. Phytogrow. There we go. This should help move things along a little bit. Right. 
And then what we'll do is because I've got uh, another thing that can use to generate aura, which is not in here. Did I get rid of it like an idiot? Or have I got a chest somewhere full of nature's aura stuff? No, I'm betting I got rid of it like an idiot. Oh well, we'll just have to leave that to its own device for a bit to get some more RF. For now, let's get onto some immersive engineering, shall we? So. Immersive engineering. Um, to be fair, it's another mod I've done quite a lot, but we do have something called control engineering that I want to take a look at. So we need to get started on some basic immersive. So the first thing we are going to need to make is going to be a coke oven. So we can make some steel. When it comes to steel, we can make the immersive one through the coke oven. Uh, through the blast furnace with coal, coke and iron. We can make it with the, the arc furnace, which is faster, more efficient and quicker than that. We can make steel grit with the metallurgic infuser, infuser and mechanism. We can only melt, we can't alloy into steel through tinkers. Uh, or we can mix it with create iron and charcoal or iron and coal and it's just a heated one there as well this is probably going to be the easiest way then to deal with it to deal with steel because create I can easily do so right uh, da -da 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 -da. So, I do want the because we do have create additions, which is why we can make steel. We also have something like these, an electric motor which creates um, uh, rotary power stress units with RF. Which I think will be better than the alternative. So for that, so I want to get that, which means getting some brass sheets, some copper spools, capacitor, and it's like alloy. More importantly, twelve of these. Now it does mean I need four of those. It means I need some more of those. I sure ain't got any sat in here. No, I ain't. One, two, three, four. And then I need some sandpaper, which is just sand and paper. Go figure. Off hand, main hand, just hold left click. And then we make uh, four of these. Oh, we need some iron plates first. Right. There are cheaper ways of making iron plates with a press, but we're not going full create, so it doesn't really matter. Um, apart from we need to, I need another deployer, which I do have. Uh, and I need a depot like that. Right. Deployer there. No, depot there. Deployer there. Let's get you. 
uh, spun round. Oh, ground me. No, not that way. Not that way, Lee. It's that one. There we go. Right, now let's just do a, a quick and dirty way of doing this. So, we one of you. We need some of you. If I was to put you. Oh, come on. I have to put you there. I didn't say it was going to be dirty. Make sure that's the finger. There we go. Right, and then one, two, three, four, a U. And then you just need four logs, weren't it? Logs go on the depot, brass goes into the hand. That's how it works, right? Oh, they've got to be straight. Okay. There we go. And to make these, I need four crafting tables. Oh, oh, them, them. Right. Now I'm going to build it here, but because of how this has to be built, I have to build this pattern, so I need a three by three with ones on the edge. So if I was to just go dirt, 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 Right, all these arrows need to be not so much pointed the same way, but all these arrows need to set, follow a set path to one output. And then what I can do here is just make myself a quick barrel. Go here. Excellent. Uh, only thing now is I need some stress units to go into here. So I might just go for another just quick and dirty. I don't mind, this is bad. I'd like it to be all nice and efficient and clean and thing, but we just wanted to get this working today, so let's just get it working. Right. Uh, any more stress units on this, don't I? Right, 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 right. Do I have any more water mills? No, I do not. Stop it. Yeah, I think it's because it's it's not liking it because it's uh broken. 
So let's just put that here. Okay, stop being a dingus game. Get some more of these. So I need more slabs. Four. Right, that'll do. So I need more. How many more of them bricks have I got? Oh, that many. <laughs> Okay, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, not that, oh, does. That's the item at the brick? Oh, you got to throw them down, yeah. Right. Put it through a stone cutter, so. Stone cutter. I don't know why I'm trying to make this look nice because it doesn't really matter, but apart from it's like it still matters. Um, right. I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. again that cat is a noisy bug I'll get that much and then we get our sigil of holding so that's got the water sigil on it uh, nope that one realize to use all of them I still need one because I need to replace that one and then if I spin that back around hey it's working excellent right now I need that's I need uh, six brass sheets which I'm gonna have to do through tinkers that's fine An iron rod Inside alloy. And a spool of wire. Which I either need to roll it through the rolling mill or I use me immersive engineering. We're going to use immersive engineering. So let's get some wire cutters. Let's get a copper sheet. Just smack in some copper. Uh, empty spool requires some iron plates. Like I say, we're just going dirty here just to get it, it done. Right, so uh, I need.
Come on. There we go. Right. So, one, two, and three. Right in the middle. It was the andesite alloy on the top. <coughs> top. Uh, I needed a capacitor to on the bottom. Just needs a copper plate and a zinc one, which needs some zinc. Something I haven't actually smelted yet. Um, that again without being a complete doofus. I think she capacitor. Alright, I just need six bronze. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well oh. need to turn you off. Six bronze in there, and then have you got a plate? You have, and it's the plate cast I need, isn't it? For the but, yep, slap that there. And this is how we get a bronze plate nice and easy. So slap these around here. As soon as everything's in place, it'll start crafting. When complete, it'll drop into here and we've got an electric motor. It's going to sit here for now. And we put our Provides energy to adjacent blocks. Let's keep this at ninety six. Good number to have it at. Slap you on. at that. Right. So for now, to take you off, that remembers the network on there. That's good. Right. I'm going to need one of those. Right. In fact, let's just it here so one of those one of those uh it's too far back right i am going to need a basin which is that one and i'm also going to need a blaze burner. So let's just get four of these. Empty blaze burner. Boom. So we're going to want blaze burner, basin, gap, and then we need a mixer. Which is this one? Just need 
the whisk, so I need five more of these. That one there. That one there. That goes there. Grab you to go there. There. Right. That all looks brilliant, apart from one problem. The blaze burner is empty. It needs a blaze in it to work. So what you do, there's two ways of getting a blaze to go into your blaze burner. You can go up to a blaze and right click it. And that'll go into your blaze burner. Or... If you have got a blaze spawner somewhere, pretty sure there's one here, there it is, you can just right click the spawner and that'll put a blaze in your burner. Look at that. Now the blaze burner recipes are fantastic and you've got three types of blaze burner recipe. You have got uh, it's not actually giving you the recipes here, is it? Right. Let's just say... Let's just go back to steel. Let me go to your mixing basin. Here we go. So, we've got, if you put milk, you can get peach milk tea with a peach. If it's heated, a heated burner is that yellow blaze there. So, a superheated burner, if you give a burner, a blaze burner, a blaze cake, you'll get a superheated one with a blue flame. Or you've got no heating required, which is nothing underneath it or a bla an empty blaze burner or a blaze burner with just a passive flame and by passive flame we mean that there's no real fire no heat coming out of it this will do normal mixing recipes now if we were to feed that blaze some fuel a la charcoal uh, we do need more iron as well I've only got that much, so let's take 30. There we go. If I was to feed the blaze some charcoal, you'll get this burning. It is on a timer, it will run out. So what you want to do is get your iron, your charcoal thrown in there, Make sure that you've powered your mixer. And while that is heated and yellow, we should start seeing some steel come out of here. Now, what you can do uh, is if we were to take that... Or even just get another one of these depots. Right back in there. Let's just take out what's in here. I could put a depot on the side and you'll get this little funnel thing. If I put steel on there as a recipe filter, what'll happen is when I go to put in charcoal and coal and iron. This will mix and it'll cough up the steel there, effectively making it uh, semi-automated, just need to automate an input. Oh, we also need to make sure that's fueled. And we've got that first bit of steel. A lot quicker and a lot more efficiently than I would have done. If we'd have been messing around with bloody 
coke ovens and blast furnaces. Uh, my only problem is this for generating mana whilst it does work. Oh boy, is it unreliable. So we are going to have to get on with some more power generation. So for now, just because it's available to me, I am going to have to utilise some of these engines. So all I do is I just stick a plug on it. Uh... Let's put it on top. Make sure the pipes are set. To, uh, off I don't need to set anything if it, if it's on input. Pandemonia. Uh, plug. This plug's important, isn't it? Plug. Adds it to the network. But yeah. Right, that's fine, and that is connected. Let's grab. Oh, geez, yeah, these run on lava crystal, don't they? I don't even need fuel for these then. That should be slowly going up now, then. Or not. There you go, it didn't need to make that to make the connection. So now you should be going up. No. You are just being a pain in the arse now, aren't you? Oh, I know why. Didn't set any of them to output, did I? And it's still not. Oh. There we go, it's now inputting. Not a lot. In fact, a pathetic, pathetic amount if you ask me, but uh, you've got some energy in you. But at least it's working. All I can do is go over here, grab a piece of charcoal, Stick it in the blaze. And then just collect the steel that comes out. You can put a hopper into a barrel here as well and it'll do the same thing. Or into a conveyor belt, should I say, into a barrel. Or you put the... Um... I forgot what they call them now. Funnel. Put a funnel onto there as well. We have got our first rounds of steel coming out. And this is the steel that we can use in our immersive engineering. So that is a start. So we've created steel with create. That's a good start, that. There are other things we can do like external heaters are another way of generating, uh, using a furnace without, uh, with RF instead of with um, uh, coal or fuel. Got other ways of generating power, like kinetic dynamos with windmills or um, water mills. I am tempted to create a windmill just for a bit more passive production. So that might be another stream job because that's quick and easy and not hard at all to do. Um, but control engineering is this new addition. So it includes things like signals, control panels, Logic benches, power science, we could have all these weird things. I do want to check out what this does. Clock. 
clock generators. Like coils, control panel. Yeah, all, all this stuff. I want to see what this all does. So, we are going to take a quick look into, into this. But, I think the one thing we need to do, really, is get more power. And that is going to come from Deep Resonance, which is a mod I've not played with in a long time, and I am rather looking forward to this. But, we've got steel, so we can start making... So, if you want to come back to the stream, uh, which will be, as this episode goes out tonight, 7pm, 7.30pm GMT, you can catch up with the stream. If you miss it, you can catch up with it on the other channel, where the link is going to be in the description. And... Or you can go to the Twitch page and watch the uh, past videos on there as well. Twitch.tv forward slash Yorkspanda. Make sure you come and drop in and say hi. We'll be getting the mechanism sorted out so that we can start on getting the ore production sorted so we can actually get more ore and specifically iron. So things are going to be a lot easier from then. And then, yeah, next episode we'll take a look at Deep Resonance. Because that's like going to be fun. And put the laser IO to get working because it looks like it's going to be interesting. But don't forget, head into the link as well. Go to the Discord so you can join the conversation, get updated when new videos go out. All that's left to be said is I hope you guys enjoy the video. You guys take it steady. Everything's a good one. I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.